KPM. Hi, Assalamualaikum. You're watching your favourite show, Didik TV KPM with me, Shafiqah Farahin Razali. And today we'll be learning about literacy and numericals, English mathematics. Where were you yesterday? Ah, this question will be asked a lot during this show. Where were you yesterday? So think about that and we'll ask you in a bit. But before that, let's first take a look at the teacher's profile. Okay, kids, did you enjoy that song? Uh, it's about our topic for today, which is obviously, where were you yesterday? And before we start anything, let me first introduce our teacher for today, uh, Cikgu Muhammad Farid uh, bin Rafi from SK Taman Permas Jaya 3, Johor. Yeah. Okay, that's my hometown, Cikgu. Yeah, uh, all right. Are you from uh, there as yes, well? Yes, yes. Ah. I'm, I'm originally from Johor okay. and serving uh, Johor currently. I see. Right. Okay, teacher, can you share a bit about your experience uh, there in the school? Right. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you, Shafika. Uh, hi, uh, everyone. Uh, I'm uh, Cikgu Muhammad Farid. So, I'm currently uh, teaching in Sekolah Kebangsaan Taman Permas Jaya III, uh, Masai. Mm -hmm. And I've been serving uh, as a teacher for eight years. So, wow. um, Okay, teacher. Yeah. Eight years is a long time. Yeah, true. <laughs> what motivates you to be a teacher until this right now? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, uh, it is important to uh, say that uh, teaching is a noble prof uh, profession. Right. So you know, like we are building up uh, new generations to uh, to uh, take over uh, our uh, administration uh -huh. later on. Right. So uh, we need to equip the young uh, generations with knowledge so that they can uh, perform well. Right, kids, you heard that right. You heard we're learning about knowledge today. So stay tuned, get out your papers, get out your pens, write down the notes that we're going to learn today. So, Cikgu, uh, teacher, sorry, what are we going to learn today, first of all? Right, we are, first of all, we are mm -hmm. going to learn on where were you yesterday. Where were you yesterday? And we are going to play some uh, games that okay. involve uh, money. All right. So, before we go out, mm -hmm. we should... Uh, you know, like practice uh, standard operating procedures. Yes. Like we are wearing our face mask. And right, most teacher. important of all, we need Where to use the, the sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Right. After teacher, you. <laughs> you took me by surprise there. <laughs> yes, this is what we should do, kids. Don't forget like I did. Wear your hand sanitizers. And also teacher as well, okay? Right. Okay, teacher. What's next today for our lesson? Right. Uh, Shafika mm -hmm. and uh, boys and girls, I hope you are ready to learn and sit tight. Right. Right. First of all, let's, uh, let us begin by, uh, we are going to learn about name of places. Mm -hmm. uh, in the video clip that has been played just now, uh, there, uh, there are a few uh, places being mentioned, uh, like what I'm going to teach uh, uh, later. Later, right. okay. In front of you, there are three boxes, mm -hmm. right? Three boxes. All right. So, Shafika, would you uh, please help me by Open turning it. the 
box first. Turning the box. Yes, turning right. the box. Right, okay. turning the box and revealing thing, okay. the picture that I've pasted uh, at the back of the box. Oh. oh, teacher, why don't we leave it as a surprise oh, first okay. uh, and then we go back at the back of the table to do this activity. Right. But before that, kids, please stay tuned, take out your notes like I said before and we'll be back on DD TV KPM. <laughs> Hey kids, you're still watching Didi TV KPM with me and teacher Farid with us in the studio. We're learning numericals and literacy for English mathematics. Where were you yesterday? Mm. So I would like to ask you, teacher. Yes. Where were you yesterday? I was on my way from Johor Bahru to Kuala Lumpur oh, to you were? be here with you and the rest great. of the kids uh -huh. at home. Okay, right. <laughs> that's great. Now we have teacher Farid in the studio. Let's uh, continue with our lesson today, right? Right. Okay. Thank you, uh, Shafika. Right. Uh, boys and girls, uh, before uh, we uh, uh, before we had our break just now, we are being uh, shown a video clip. Mm -hmm. So in the clip itself, there are a few places being mentioned. So remember these boxes. Okay. Right. I'm going to turn each box and. This box will tell you the name of the place that we are going to learn today. Okay. Right. First, uh, first box. Right. I guess uh, this must be the highlight of uh, all all of these three boxes. Yes. Right. Including first. myself. <laughs> ah. Right. This is the place that we used to visit when we are not having COVID nineteen, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first, uh, the first place that has been mentioned in the clip it's, uh, is. Shopping centre. Shopping centre. So, Shafika, I want to yes. ask you. Okay. At the shopping centre, uh -huh. uh, what is there? Uh, what can uh, you tell me about shopping centre? Shopping centre. Um, I see shops. Right. I see a lot of things that I like. Good. And right. I see people. Good. Ah. Right. Okay. Is that correct, teacher? Correct. Yes, Yay. correct. Good, Shafika. Mm -hmm. So. In order to uh, under, uh, in order to understand what is uh, actually a shopping centre, mm -hmm. okay, first we have many people, many, okay, people. many people that comes to visit the shopping centre. Of course, to shop, not to like play football or whatsoever. Correct. Right. right. The second uh, criteria of a shopping centre is the, uh, it has many shops. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess uh, we have been uh, so long uh, staying at home. So yes. we miss our time uh, visiting shopping centre, right? Correct. Right. It's been so long, oh, yeah, teacher. Yeah, true. Right. Okay. Uh, next one. Right. Uh, okay. next. The next place that we mentioned in the video clip mm -hmm. is a place that we are current. Oh, Ooh. sorry. It's okay, oh, it's teacher. Falling. Yes. Ah, okay. It's a bit too upright. Okay. okay. The next one. The next one. Mm -hmm. Right. The next one is a place that we are currently now. The, the boys and girls right. are at at home. Aha, uh -huh. right. the most comfortable place in the, the world. Yeah, true. The most comfortable place, mm -hmm. the most cozy place, yes. the place where you have everything with you. Right. Right. Shafika, what yes. do you have uh, at your home? I have a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> first of all, I have my mm, my bed. Right. And I have my parents. Right, good. Right, okay. Good. And then I also have my couch, my TV, oh, uh, my car, right. everything. Everything that yes. makes you feel comfortable oh, yes. uh, at your house. Uh, okay. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. So, the, uh, the description to uh, identify a you home? are at home. Okay. Of course, you are with your family at home. Yes. Right? So, you have your mother, your father, mm -hmm. your brother and your sister and so on and so forth. Okay. Right. The second one is... A place Home is a rest. place where you have your rest. Yes, okay? teacher. See, the 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 guy here in the picture yes. uh, looks very re relaxed. Eh? Relaxed and comfortable. Right. Relaxed and comfortable, mm -hmm. of course. Right. Can I do the honors of doing the last yeah, one, teacher? Yeah, please, please. Okay. Right, the third place. Mm -hmm. Okay, the third place 
it doesn't it, it is not being mentioned in the in the clip yes but what i can say is this is the place that is most important to you kids Right. Mm -hmm. So, when you know what? Right, Chavika, okay. would you do, do the honors? I'll turn the surprise. Library. It's a library. Okay. Right. It's a library. Uh -huh. It's a library. So, Chavika, right. do you like to yes. go to the library? Um, sometimes when I feel like reading more books, right. I will go to the library because it's quiet. Oh, okay. Mm. So my my personal uh my personal experience of being in a library. Okay. Um. I was uh, I I did uh, attend a uh, uh, overseas uh, uh, overseas uh, uh, university. Ah, university. So I so see. the environment in the library is very different. So okay. it's not as quiet as ours in Malaysia. Okay. But never mind. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as uh, the uh, the objective of being in the library is achieved, okay. right? Okay. So people in the library, people search for books and right. people study. True. True. Right. Teacher. Could you please open the box okay. and take up the pictures inside the oh, uh, box? Right. Right. Here so, we have. Here we have. Mm -hmm. As I said, library is a place to study, mm -hmm. and we have many books uh, in in the library. So, uh, yes. if we can uh, in the future, mm -hmm. so we uh, we need to spend some time to the library so that we can read more books and enlightened by the knowledge that contents in the library. Uh, yes, correct. I agree, teacher, because sometimes we need the privacy that we don't at home. Yeah, and true. the library gives us more privacy in that term. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. All Having right. to say that, so now, Let's look at the at the board here. Okay. So, uh, having to uh, know that the descriptions of the places that I've mentioned. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we are going to play a simple game. Okay. okay. I love games. We are going to play a simple game. Mm -hmm. So, uh, look at the uh, look at the board? blue look at the blue board uh, blue card here. Okay. Where were you yesterday? Is the question. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, the answer to the question is I was at. Okay. I was at. So you uh, we are going to. Uh, to read the description later on. Okay. okay. So, uh, I've add on, were you at the... So, it's just a confirmation, uh, asking for confirmation, were you at the... So, we are going to mention the name of the place and there are two uh, set of answers here. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it is a yes, I was, or no, I was not. Uh -huh. Okay. So, uh, here, I have six boxes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have six boxes here. What are we going to do with these boxes, teacher? We are going to play a guessing game. Okay. So, Shafika, uh, both of us are going to model first the game. Okay. We are going to model first. Uh -huh. Then we'll, uh, we'll engage in the guessing game. Okay, teacher. Right. Let's go. Okay. So, first of all, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you. Okay. Where were you yesterday? Mm, yesterday. Uh, okay. You okay. are going to choose one of these boxes All right. and open the box okay. and read what is written on the paper. Oh, I see. As an answer to yes. the question. Yes. Okay. Then, mm -hmm. I will ask you, were you at the... So, based on the description, mm -hmm. you need to tell me whether I'm guessing uh, uh, whether I've uh, prov you whether you are, you have provided the correct answer or not. Okay. okay. All then, right. if I... Said yes, so means you got the correct, correct answer. Okay. If I said no, I'll try. Uh, we need to try one one more time. Okay, teacher, let's do it now. Right. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'll will I'll start. Mm -hmm. Where were you yesterday, Shafika? Where was I ah, yesterday? Okay. So you need to choose Should the box. I choose one yes. box. My favorite number, teacher, yes. is number two. Okay. So I'll open this box. Okay. Open the box. Okay. And then there's uh, one paper uh, here. Yeah, there, there's a piece of paper. Piece you of need paper. to read what is written on the paper. Okay. All right. I feel like I'm digging through a treasure, teacher. Oh, yeah. okay. Right. All right. So you need to read. Okay, <laughs> I need written? to read this actually. Oh, oh. Okay, hold on, teacher. <laughs> okay. okay. I was at a place to rest. All right. Ah. I was at a place to rest. Mm -hmm. So, I'll ask you back. Were you at the home? Were you at home? Mm -hmm. So, were you at home? So, Okay, my answer, my honest answer is yes, I was. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I did uh, get the answer, correct? Yes, you did. Yes. That was so. a hint there because <laughs> I said I was at a place <laughs> to rest. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. So, now, Shafika, okay. uh -huh. uh, it's now your turn to play. Okay. So, you need to ask me. Okay. Uh, where? 
were I yesterday. Okay. So I'll choose one of the box, then I'll uh, okay. proceed. Okay. All right, teacher. I've been meaning to ask this. Mm. Where were you yesterday, teacher? Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to choose number five. Okay. I'm going to choose number five. The lucky number five. Lucky number five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shafika, are you ready to guess? I'm I'm ready here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because <laughs> I want to know where you were yesterday. Mm. Right. Okay. Teacher Farah, I can was, you show? Yes. I was at a place with my family. Ah. So? Okay. Um, let me use the sentence right. uh, on the whiteboard. Okay. It says, were you at the... Mm, Mm, because it's uh, DMCO right now, yeah. I would say, were you at the park? No, I was not. You weren't. No, ah, okay. no I was not. Mm -hmm. So, so Shafika, so where po would I be po uh, possibly be? Where would I possibly be? I think with family, of course, were you at your home? Yes, I was. Ah. So, uh, if uh, so... Uh, Shafika managed to uh, guess the correct answer. Yay! So um, I'll give Shafika okay. one reward. So reward. this is for you. Okay. So you need Thank to open it and I need show. To open it. Show okay. show to the kids what have you gained. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I think I got something very special <laughs> okay. today. I feel like I'm getting great, right, you teacher? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Shafika has gotten a note of five ringgit. Five ringgit. Okay. So Shafika keep it. So okay. Because we are going to use it later on. Right. Next, right. Shafika, want to continue yes, and play? Yes, please, teacher. Okay, okay. Shafika, uh, mm -hmm. ask me. Where I'll ask I you. Am. Yeah. Okay, where were you yesterday, teacher? Right, where mm. were I yesterday? So mm -hmm. I'm going to choose box number one. Okay. Box number one. Uh, box number one. Box number one. Mm -hmm. Okay, need to open this first. Okay. Okay. Right, Shafika. Okay. The description here is, mm -hmm. I was at a place with many <gasps> shops. All right. I think we talked about this just yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I think this is a place that you like the most. Yes. Of course. <laughs> Teacher, you know everything about me. <laughs> you okay. mentioned to me just now. Okay, I did. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, I would like to ask you, Teacher. You like? Were you at the mall? Yesterday? Yes, I was. Yes, you were? <laughs> yes, I was. What were you doing at the mall, teacher? I was looking for a few things mm -hmm. for my uh, dinner. Okay. So, I was at the shopping center. <laughs> I see. All right. Yes, right. Uh, kids, uh, you can also use uh, shopping centers for malls, right, teacher? Yeah, yeah okay. correct. Right, Shafika? Mm -hmm. Do you I give the... you a reward? Yes, of course. Okay. This is the second envelope right. for Shafika. For me? Yes. Because I was right. Yes. Okay, I got another. Hmm, what is this? This is a big... <gasps> oh, I got a bigger amount. Right, Shafika is holding a note of... 10, 10 ringgit. ringgit. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Shafika. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> right, Shafika. Let's try one more time. Okay. Whether you can guess it correct or not. Okay, right. let's do it. So, ask me. Okay, I'll ask you this time. Mm. Where were you yesterday, teacher? Uh, right. Since here is only three boxes, mm -hmm. so you are going to choose a box. I'll choose for, for you? Yeah. Okay, let's choose number three. Right, thank okay. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, let's open box number three. And, let's, okay. Let's open box number three. And the description here is... Uh -huh. Wow. I was at a place with many books. Right, teacher. Right. We've given a hint before this. Yeah. So I think I will try my best to okay. ask you. Right. Were you at the library? Correct, Shafika. Oh, yes, correct I again. was. So this is another uh, reward for reward you. Reward for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> I hope it is bigger, teacher. Um, uh, let's look. Right. <laughs> let's look. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, Shafika has gotten uh, a note of one, one ringgit. One ringgit. All right, Shafika. That's right, teacher. Mm -hmm. Let's move. Uh, let's move a bit. Uh, to the left. To the left. Okay. Uh, to our board here. Okay, teacher. Right. 
you can move okay. over here. Shafika, mm -hmm. you have received how many no uh, notes? Okay, let me show it. First, I received one. And then the one. second one is this one. All right. Note number two. And the first reward that I received was, uh -huh, was note number three, which All is a five right. ringgit note. Shafika. Mm. Okay, so Shafika has received three different notes. Okay, mm -hmm. means three different uh, values. Yes. So, uh, Shafika, yes, why teacher. don't we uh, take a break? Okay. And then let the kids uh, drink some water or ah. whatnot. And we'll come back uh, to explain further about this. Okay, kids, let me spend my reward first. <laughs> and we'll be right back after this on DDTV KPM. <laughs> Hey kids, welcome back to Didi TV KPM and still with me is teacher Farid who is teaching us literacy and numericals, English mathematics. Where were you yesterday? Just now, teacher Farid, yes. we learned about how to uh, construct a sentence using uh, keywords. Where were you yesterday? And we used... Uh, uh, keywords, uh, descriptions of descriptions the place. Descriptions of the place yes. to guess and yeah. find the right answer, right? Yeah. And what are we going to do now? Right. Shafika, uh, mm -hmm. just now, mm -hmm. I've given you three different uh, notes. Mm -hmm. uh, one is, uh, if I may, yes. right? Mm -hmm. One I've given you. Uh, this was one, my reward yeah, just now, yes. This was her mm -hmm. reward just now. So okay. one uh, a dollar, one ringgit. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I'll, I've given uh, Shafika five ringgit. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I've given Shafika ten ringgit. This is so, my favourite teacher. <laughs> <laughs> favourite because the value is big and yes. the uh, colour is red. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Now mm -hmm. we are going to learn how to uh, sum up uh, the amount that Shafika has received. Mm -hmm. So Shafika. Okay. Uh, from Should these three notes. Okay. Right, which one is the smallest? Which one is the smallest? Kids, can you answer this question? Which one is the smallest? Which one is the smallest? If I were to guess teacher, right? I would think this is the smallest. Why? Because it is one ringgit. All ah. right, correct, Shafika. Is it Good. correct? Okay. Good job. All right. right. The biggest amount is. The biggest amount is my favorite, <laughs> which is this one. All right. The biggest amount is ten ringgit. Uh -huh. Right. So now let's look at the board here. Mm -hmm. So we are going to sum up the total amount of Shafika's reward. Okay. Uh, on this uh, uh, standard. Uh, written form. Okay. okay. Standard written form. Mm -hmm. Or in Bahasa Melayu, we would say bentuk lazim. Bentuk lazim. Bentuk lazim. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you remember those days we have this uh, book. Uh, we have lots of boxes. Yes. So, we are going to use the boxes to uh -huh. sum up your to sum up your uh, reward. Reward. Right. That means Let that... me mm -hmm. uh, look for something in my pocket. Okay. Mm, right. Another surprise, teacher. Of wow. course. <laughs> we need to write on the board. So, we need pens. Okay. Right. So, now, Shavika. Right. Uh, you have guessed the biggest, um, uh, the smallest amount mm -hmm. and the biggest amount. Okay. So, uh, if you uh, want to participate, okay. you take one, uh, take one pen, pen and all right. just write the amount at the top here. Okay, I'll use a black pen, yeah. teacher. Right. Okay. Write the amount. Write the amount. Uh, do I start here? Uh, start from. Uh, the left side. R the right. left side, okay. I'll okay. just put the lowest amount. Yes, just put the lowest amount. Which is number one. Right, number one. Yes. Okay, okay. the biggest amount? The biggest amount is ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. So, uh, between one and ten. Okay. So, the number, uh, the uh, the five ringgit mm -hmm. falls into the second biggest amount. True? Yes, true. So, second biggest amount, you write here. Oh, okay. okay. That means I am putting this number in order. Yes. Teacher. All right. Okay. So you have one, you have five. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, the so you need to amount. put the biggest amount. Okay, okay. teacher. 
rice. So. All right. Uh, so the biggest amount is 10 ringgit. Okay, Shafika. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right. However, you did make a mistake. Oh, here. I did. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, but it's a it's a mistake that is uh, permissible. Uh, it's uh, for uh, you say uh, dimaafkan lah. Okay? okay. The mistake is uh, you can correct it uh, uh, later on. Right. Here. One, okay. five. Mm -hmm. But the problem here is here. The problem, so because mm -hmm. Shafika is writing the numbers in the box, in one boxes. <gasps> okay. Oh, oh. okay. By right, you need to, mm -hmm. you need to separate the zero and the one. Oh, ah. I think I haven't been in school for a while, oh, so mind. I forgot about oh, it's this. It's okay. Uh -huh. Never mind, Shafika. Okay. We have contingency plan. Yes, we have a backup plan. We have a new we have a new uh, place for Shafika to write. Okay. okay so Shafika, if you uh, would want to correct the correct the uh, number the numbers just now. Okay. First the of smallest. all, was right. Yes. Uh, which is number one. Okay. Okay. And the second one, number five, is okay. all, is right as well. Okay. And the third one, I have okay. to be careful. Okay. Is one. One here, yeah, yeah, correct. And then zero. Zero. Thank okay, you, Shafika. Teacher, is this correct? <laughs> yes. Thank okay. you, Shafika. You All are right. doing it correctly. Thank you. So, uh, we need to uh, as well put the. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to put the. Uh, RM in front because oh. we are counting money, right? Right, teacher. Right, we need to put the RM in front okay. as we are counting money. So, Shafika, mm. what is R? What does RM stands for? RM means Ringgit Malaysia. All right, Ringgit Malaysia is yes. the official currency of our nation, huh? yes. of our nation Malaysia. Uh, so, teacher Farid, I just noticed uh, the word RM is one in one column, right, teacher? Yes, yes. So it has to be like that because we have a bigger number. Uh, no, no, uh -huh. because uh, we put the RM here, okay. so it's look organized. It's more organized, uh, it's more okay, organized. kids. Well, mm. Whenever we are doing something, we need to organize it properly. Yes, okay. correct. So we have the uh, plus, plus sign. symbol here. Mm -hmm. So, Shavika. Okay. Let's oh, add on. Okay, okay this is going to test on. my mathematics. Okay. Uh -huh. Right. One. Mm -hmm. Plus five is? Mm, one plus one, two, three, three four, four, five, five is? Six. Six. Right. Okay. However, we have another number down here. Which so, is? So, six mm -hmm. plus zero is? Still six. Still six. Mm -hmm. So, we are putting here the number six. Okay. Okay. So, what happens to this number? The second, the second column. Mm -hmm. So, since we don't have any number here and here, so only we have here. So, one. We straight Is away three? bring it down as One. like this. Okay. So the total amount of Shafika's reward is sixteen ringgit. True? Sixteen ringgit. All right, Shafika. Ah, that means we add up the smallest number, we add up the biggest number, and the second smallest, no. uh, right, second we, biggest number. We add on everything. Everything. So, all right. We add on everything to know how much that Shafika managed mm -hmm. to. Uh, gain uh, okay. during the game just now. Right, right. Shafika, let's move. Yes, uh, let's to the front to of the, table. the front, front okay. of the table. So mm -hmm. we have a few things for you to buy. Wow, right. I love shopping. Right. Those those days uh -huh. um, when uh, I was uh, attending school. Okay. Uh, my friends loves to uh, to visit the bookshop. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you like to visit the bookshop? Of course. I think it's everyone's childhood to visit the bookshop because <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of pens and colors. It's a routine. It's a routine. It's a routine. Every yeah. recess time, mm -hmm. you need to. Uh, you are going to spend uh, a part of your uh, allowance uh, mm -hmm. at the canteen and then bring the rest to the bookshop to spend. And you know what, teacher? Yeah. It's not just for writing or erasing yeah, or for true. coloring. It's to show off to other <laughs> yeah, kids true. as well. I, <laughs> hi, I, I've bought a new pen. Yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, here we have uh, four items. Mm -hmm. Four items uh, that uh, Shafika needs to choose. Mm -hmm. Okay, Shafika, just now you've managed to gain 16, 16 ringgit. ringgit. So, in front here, okay. I have prepared for you mm -hmm. a uh, four items for mm -hmm. you to choose. Okay. You are going to spend your reward mm -hmm. on these items. Okay. But teacher. remember, Shafika, yes. you need to spend wisely. <gasps> Oh, that is something I'm not good at, teacher. <laughs> but I will try my best. But let me facilitate you. Okay. Right. First of all, we mm -hmm. have here a, a stationary set. Mm -hmm. Okay. It contains a ruler, pencils, eraser, and also a sharpener. Mm -hmm. And it comes with a pencil box. Ah. Right. Next item, we have book. 
Right. Does it look beautiful to you? It's so beautiful, teacher. There's so much colors tempting, there. Tempting, is it? Yes, very right. tempting. Next item, we have four pens mm -hmm. okay. for you. Mm -hmm. And the last one, we have a set of pencils. Mm -hmm. right. right. Let's go through the prices. Okay. okay. The first item here, we have six ringgit. Mm -hmm. The second item, we have five ringgit. The third item, we have five ringgit. And the last item, we have three ringgit. Three ringgit. So, Shafika. Yes. Uh, if I were, uh, if you were to shop now, okay. what is the first item that you are going to buy? Okay, teacher. Before you said I have to spend wisely, okay. I would have chosen this first thing that I that caught my eye. Why? Because it looks very nice. I want to show off to my friends. Oh, okay. But <laughs> since today we're gonna shop wisely. Okay. First of all, what do I really need? I think, first of all, teacher, right. I need the set of pencils and also the pencil case and also the rubber and the pencil sharpener, all right. which is six ringgit. Which is it. Why mm. do you choose to buy this first? Because I feel like it has everything already okay. in it. And the price compared to the others is just one ringgit difference. Yes, true. Mm. So, uh, mm -hmm. this is the first item mm -hmm. that you are going to buy. Yes. Right, Shafika, mm -hmm. the next item. The next item is, of course, I do need a notebook. Uh, oh. I do need a Why notebook. do you need a notebook? Because I have all my pencils and also my erasers and my pencil sharpeners, so I need something to write on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, this is the second item. The second item. Right. Before we proceed, Shafika, mm -hmm. okay. we need to ensure that you have uh, enough money to spend. True? Yes, true. Okay, ah, so Shafika. Okay. I'm going to remove this. Uh -huh. I'm going to put on a new board. Okay. Just to help you check whether you are spending within your means or... Within my budget. <laughs> within your budget or budget. beyond your budget. Okay. Right, Shafika. All right. So, the first one here, mm -hmm. Shafika decided to buy a stationary set. Yes. So, it costs... Six ringgit. So six ringgit. I'll take a pen here mm -hmm. and I'll write six here. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, number six with the RM with the RM. ringgit Malaysia. Ringgit Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So the next one, Shafika decided to buy a book. A notebook. Right, yes. A notebook. Mm -hmm. So I'll, what is the price, Shafika? The price is five ringgit. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's add on. Okay. Okay, let's add on. So, Shafika? Right. Six plus five. Six plus five is... Eleven. Okay, let's check. So, we put uh, six fingers. Mm -hmm. Right? Six fingers. Mm -hmm. And we need to add on five more. Okay. So, six, seven, mm -hmm. eight, nine, ten. So, keep this inside your uh, memory. Mm -hmm. So, one more. Uh, 11. Mm -hmm. So, it's 11 ringgit. 11 ringgit. So, we put here <gasps> okay. the number one. Mm -hmm. So, where, go, where is the other number? The other, num the other number should come in to the left side of number one. Right. Yes. Right, Shafika. Mm -hmm. So, so Shafika, okay. you have spent 11 ringgit. 11 ringgit. So, based on your... Based on your... Uh, reward just now, mm -hmm. you have 16 ringgit. And now you are already spending 11. 11 ringgit. So, so now uh, teacher, how will I know how much I have left? Uh, we need to, uh, we need to, you know, uh, see the difference. We uh -huh. need to subtract. Subtract. Uh, this and this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay, teacher. So, 16. Okay. Alright. Alright. Uh-huh. I just Do we use... have a backup again? Yes. Ah, there you go. Teacher Farid always has his backup. <laughs> Teacher will always have things uh, inside their sleeves. <laughs> right? Yes, that was, that's what a teacher always has. Okay. Okay. So, your budget is 16. 16. You have spent 11. 11. Two. Right. Okay. So, just now we use the plus sign. To plus the amount, right. but now we but use now we are using the subtract, subtract sign. sign, right? Mm -hmm. So okay. So sixteen, uh, we need to put out eleven. Eleven. So mm -hmm. we need to do. Uh, we are going to do it uh, by column. By column. Mm -hmm. So six. Okay. Subtract one. Mm -hmm. You need to 
So how? What? How, we do the how same. How much do I uh, left? Mm -hmm. Okay. How much is left six from six? Minus one. Minus one. How much is left, kids? Five. Five. So. Okay. Five. All one right. minus one. One minus one. You don't have. Nothing. Zero. Nothing. So. Okay. What is left is. Only five, five ringgit. ringgit. That's not so much, teacher. Yeah, yeah. that's not so much, but mm -hmm. still you can spend. Yes. So, Shafika, mm -hmm. you have uh, another five ringgit to spend. Okay. So, from these two items, mm -hmm. which one would you want to spend? Okay, first of all, what teacher, all right. because uh, from here I see the pencil, even though it's very lovely, all right. um, and it's three ringgit, but if I choose the pens, there are more pens than the pencil. True. And I do need a pen. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to buy this one, teacher. All right. Mm. You are going to buy this one. Yes. So, mm -hmm. so if uh, Shafika buys all these three things, mm -hmm. so Shafika would have uh, used all of her rewards. Okay. Right. Because uh, it's because 11. 11 plus 5 plus is five? 16. 16. So kids. Shafika has spent, indeed spent wisely uh -huh. uh, on her rewards. All right. So, oh, there sorry. you go. Teacher Farid has been teaching us how to spend wisely by using the methods of uh, adding up and subtracting. But after this, we're going to go for a lot more activities. Don't, be, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on Didi TV KPM. And you're back with me on Didi TV KPM. And today's subject is literacy and numericals, English, mathematics. Where were you yesterday? And we're still here with teacher Farid. Yes, uh, Just now we learned so much. Yes. Maybe too. you can make a, a conclusion of conclusion. what we learned from today. Right. Uh, during the first segment, we have learned about the name of places mm -hmm. just now. Like first, we have shopping center. We have a uh, home and we have library. Mm -hmm. So uh, after this, uh, you know uh, how to describe uh, uh, the place uh, that we have learned. Yes. Okay. The next uh, segment was we learn a bit about uh, sentence structure. So after this, whenever your friends is trying to communicate with you in English, mm -hmm. so that you are able to uh, participate in the conversation. Mm -hmm. So let's say uh, per se like, where were you yesterday? Mm -hmm. So it's easy. Uh, if if if, uh, if the kids uh, don't have any knowledge about how to communicate in English, they would like scratch their heads mm -hmm. and trying to avoid the conversation. But then, uh, hopefully, by this session, mm -hmm. uh, whenever uh, their friends uh, asking them where were you yesterday, so at least they can uh, reply, I was at. Uh, if uh, uh, probably they will answer the ah. name of the place in Bahasa, but right. never mind. Still uh, the. The attempt to com uh, converse uh, to converse in English is mm -hmm. there. Okay. okay. Right, and then uh, we've learned about uh, how uh, we learned about uh, money. Money. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. We have uh, I've given Shafika yes. her reward mm -hmm. uh, in form of cash. Okay. So uh, money is uh, very important, but uh, not to forget we need to be able to spend the amount that we have mm -hmm. wisely, especially in uh, this. Uh, tired, uh, in this time of uh, pandemic, uh, where everything, uh, not everything is available for us, right. so we need to be able to spend wisely. Right, kids. Right. And uh, you, you heard uh, Teacher Farid saying that it is very important to know how to count your money. If you're given pocket allowances from yes, your parents, yes, yes. <laughs> make sure you calculate the right amount for your spending. Don't mm -hmm. overspend, don't okay? Don't overspend yes. and don't underspend. Yes. Uh, because uh, sometimes uh, people, mm -hmm. when they underspend, they tend, to they tend to neglect the things that they need the most. Because they think, okay, I need to, I need to save, I need to save, I need to save. Yes. But they didn't buy what 
is really needed by them. Yes, that's correct. Uh, make sure you know what you need and what you don't really need. Yes, and then true. spend your one money wisely. wisely. Right, teacher. To, today we learned about uh, counting money. Right. right. What else for kids that are at home, bounded by home learning? Okay. What is the choices uh, that they can use to count? Right. Mm. Aside from you know, playing with money, yep. uh, the things that uh, you have at home, you can also uh, lay a helping hand to your parents mm -hmm. uh, by helping them in the kitchen mm -hmm. so that you can count the things that your uh, parents had bought uh, in, at the shop. Mm -hmm. Per se, how many chilies, how many apples, mm -hmm. uh, and then you may want to like add them up. So how many fruits do uh, did uh, my parents buy today? Ah, uh, so right. Per se that you have, okay, five apples mm -hmm. plus five oranges. So mm -hmm. how many how many fruits? So five plus five is ten. So ah. uh, uh, using yes. uh, what you have at home uh, mm -hmm. helps you to learn as okay. well. Now, not necessarily you need to attend school. Mm -hmm. Right now we're having COVID-19. Yes. So we are staying at home, mm -hmm. bounded by home learning. Right. So I uh, need to uh, be creative mm -hmm. at the same time uh, it, to initiate the sense of learning. In, yes. in oneself. Right, there's a lot of things at true. home that we can learn, true. that we can use as an example to true, learn true. about numericals and also like money as well, uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, like you said, we have to spend wisely. Maybe you can give some tips on how to spend for the okay. kids at home. Spending money is fun, especially when you are having a huge amount of money. Mm -hmm. True? Right. Right. Uh, but then, uh, in this very... Uh, uh, you know, like adventurous uh, time where you are, you things are not available for yes. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, shops are closed. Mm -hmm. You are very limited supplies, so you need to choose uh, the things that you need the most. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, especially uh, when it comes to uh, things that is being used for learning. Okay, okay? books, mm -hmm. uh, food, and mm -hmm. things like uh, uh, home Necessities appliances. Uh, like right. right. So mm -hmm. uh, you need to. Uh, you can always go online, but okay. then you need to select what what, what you, is needed uh, what and is what needed. is important, yes. and you can use at the very moment, so, not just buy things that you need in the future because it looks nice, but yeah. spend on things that you really need, right, yeah, teacher? True. Ah, uh, and also from today's lesson, we can also learn that we need to perhaps ask our family members since we're at home, where were they were yeah. at yesterday? Today. Where were you yesterday? Start asking that to your yeah, uh, true. family members. You need to ask them uh -huh. where they are yesterday, so okay. that they are. So so that we know they are following the SOPs. Right. <laughs> and as you can see just now on the whiteboard, there's a lot of answers, two options that you can choose from. So try to apply that at home. Okay, kids? Uh, we've reached the end of the show, but maybe a few um, last words from you uh, for today's lesson. Right. Uh, boys and girls, mm -hmm. uh, just uh, make sure that you uh, stay at home. That's, that's very important. Stay at home. And don't forget that learning is a continuous process. Mm -hmm. uh, learn all the things that you have at home. Mm -hmm. So learn to read, learn to count, uh, learn uh, how to uh, do dishes, learn how to cook. There's so many things to learn at home. Mm -hmm. So just that you know uh, you need to spend your time mm -hmm. wisely at home with right. your family. Mm -hmm. and your loved ones. Okay, kids, there you have it. Teacher Farid with us in the studio today teaching us literacy and numericals. Right, kids? Thank you for tuning in today. We'll see you again. Assalamualaikum. Bye.
KP 